Hey guys, it's Colleen. Quick heads up before we start the show. My microphone is messed up for the first half. I didn't realize it wasn't properly connected until we got to the commercial break and I fixed it. But by then it was too late and I'm really, really sorry. I hope it's not too distracting because we have a really good show. Uh, Shandy gives a big life update and uh, the industry hack thing that we do in the middle is really informative as well. So uh, thanks for listening. Sorry about the mic uh, issue in the beginning. And yeah, have a good day. Bye. Mayday, bitches. Broadcast. Hello and welcome to the broadcast with Amanda, Shandy, and Colleen. My name is Colleen. My name is Amanda. And I'm Shandy. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is season nine, episode seven, episode number 367. We're back. School's back in session from our little summer break. How's it going, everyone? Did you have a nice August? It's a crazy August, but yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, anything you want to share with the class or just crazy in general? I can share some of the crazy. I'll have more updates as things like get settled. But cool. um, back towards the beginning of the year, I learned that my job was basically like transferring me back to California. And I was like, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and that was like a whole thing. Um, and there <laughs> was it now. <laughs> it, uh, it's an interesting start to the year. Um, but basically, uh, they like worked with me for me to telework. And I like I worked on some projects uh, basically like over the summer. Um, and so that was like really awesome. I'm super grateful for that. Um, but then I had like a hard, you know, in-person date in August. So basically the week of, this is like part of why we haven't recorded forever, because the week of August 12th, I transported my car across country. <laughs> so another cross country trip, this time by myself. And I, I'm very proud of myself that I drove my car. What is that? I can't remember how many miles, but like 40 A lot of hours. miles. Too many miles to be driving by oneself. <laughs> I mean, really. Um, I listened to books three and book four. Books three and yes. four of of um, uh, Thursday the Thursday Murder, Murder Club. Club. I Yay. almost said only murders in the building. That's which also oh, is bad. Yeah, which also. Oh is my bad. god! I haven't watched so any of it. Is it oh, good? I haven't oh, watched it. It's good. I mean, there's it's only two really episodes good. that have dropped so far. I'm like, okay. oh, yes, we're back which to is a bummer. Love it. I know. Yeah. We were like after that first. The first Ugh. one ends like I know. really, really good. Like Jay yeah. had tears in his eyes when it ended. Oh. I'm not kidding. And he was like wiping them away, and he was like, "Okay, they dropped three, right?" And I was like, "No, they nope. didn't. <laughs> they sure did not." All right, maybe, yeah. Yeah. maybe tomorrow. Maybe. I'll try and catch up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry. Other murders. Uh, not but, only murders, but Thursday Murder Club. <laughs> Thursday Murder Club. Um, we'll drive so you through like New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that gave me a lot of <laughs> a lot of hours. Um, but yeah, the driving was not as bad as I was expecting. Honestly, uh, I did two hours before I got here. I got like a, a rock hit my windshield and it's like a pretty big and immediate crack that I'm yeah. just gonna have to like replace the windshield but you know no accidents no nothing I'm like so you know yeah. no no like um you know true crime scenarios so very cool. grateful for all that yep you only listen to the true crime scenarios yeah exactly and only like the really like fun ones yeah so not even the true crime yeah the the, the fiction <laughs> the fictional crime. crime the fictional crime yeah. yeah so i did that and then like you know, got my car across country uh, and then i had the next week i had like for a long time like i had um taken that week off because we had a family reunion in montana so i had to like transport the car i spent a night at my friends spent less than 24 hours here got up the next morning got an early flight to montana had an Crazy. awesome time in Montana. It's great. We had like a, I had a couple of days in, in Missoula with Frank and then we had like a immediate family reunion. My little brother and sister couldn't come, but like the rest of us were all together in Chico Hot Springs, uh, which is a cool little place that I've actually never been to. Um, and then afterwards we like moved on to the, like the full family reunion at the place that we went in 2019 that we like gone a couple of times now. Anyway, um, it was, Super fun. And then I flew back here and then started work again in person. 
And for the first it. time in person in like six months, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the first time in person in several months. And then the first time like in the offices here in California, like it's surreal. It's like, I never left, but also so weird that I'm back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's just like walking around, like, you know, especially like at work, like, you know, I know people, like I was there for 10 years. Like I know people in like all these different departments, just like running into people. And like, that's been really fun. Um, and I, I'm in a, a new position, which I think is going to be really good. Um, but in my old school, so it's like there's like some old, some new. Mm -hmm. um, so just like catching up with people and just like being in California again is like honestly pretty cool. Um, yeah. Nice. yeah. North Carolina was a great experience. Great learning experience. Uh, I love the state. Fayetteville's not great, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was okay. It's like it's really I really appreciate uh, like even when we were in Missoula, we we're, we we're driving around and I was like, look there's sidewalks. Look, there's a bike lane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just like very, you know, very much come to appreciate uh, certain things that, yeah, I didn't think too much about before, but uh, it's been nice. So yeah, good. That's been my eyes. Uh, yeah. It's a crazy amazing. August. And now you have sunlight once again, and we are still shrouded in darkness. It's so early. <laughs> really dark. It's really dark now. Pacific time. <laughs> that was like the one thing, like my immediate thought was like, well, I get to record in Pacific time again. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, I have uh, on my calendar, it's the picture of all of us from when we went hiking last year. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, we had we had some. Well, good not all of us. I I wasn't there. <laughs> okay, fair. I'm sorry. That was <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I don't all of us, all of us that were living in all of us North Carolina. North, yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. I mean, like, I'm really thankful for my time in North Carolina. It's I, I think it was a, like a really great. Um, I don't know, just like different perspective, uh, and I got to see my family more often. I obviously got to see Colleen more often. Um, and I, you know, like I discovered that North Carolina is the most biodiverse state in the United States. I had no idea about that. Shitload of uh, yeah. shitload of trees. Shit, shit, shitload of trees. You know, did I ever tell you guys that um, somebody in North Carolina once asked me, uh, and he's so nice. Like I don't, I'm like not trying to talk shit about him, yeah. but he, I think he kind of like never really left Fayetteville. Um, I mentioned once one one of the previous times that I was going to a trip on a trip to Montana and I mentioned that and he asked if there were trees there. <laughs> and I was like, honey. And I of course I told that to my Montana friends and they're like, what the fuck? Uh, but like what do you what do you think burns every every uh summer? But on the other hand, it's like I do now have that perspective of like there it is so green on the East Coast and you just can't fully appreciate it when yeah. you, you've only lived in the West, it's just wild. But yeah, and especially in North Carolina and all those areas with like all the rain and all, yeah. So yes. lush, just insane. Driving through, that was one of my, um, one of the parts I really liked uh, was driving through, you know, once you kind of reach like the Appalachian area in yeah. like, Western North Carolina and then like the whole state of Tennessee, uh, was just like so beautiful uh and i would have liked to have you know been able to explore that a little bit more but there's a you know there's always time to come back on a, on a vacation to be. Yeah. yeah exactly exactly yeah. um well awesome mm. and you seem very happy so you know things like sometimes life throws curveballs at you and you might cry about them at first but then they might turn out to be really great it's like been a, yeah, it's been a crazy year. So yeah, yeah. It turns out to be the thing you needed all along. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's good. Year. I like, <laughs> I feel like I was thinking about this today as I was leaving work. I was like, I feel like I've gotten more movement. Like, like I've just had more movement, physical movement mm -hmm. in the past like week than I did in like the previous year, which is of course an really? exaggeration, but just like, right, right, right. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 yeah I believe it. Because, like, where I worked before, like, you had to drive there. You could not even, like, ride your bike there. And then where I worked, it was, like, you were in that one building. And you, like, really would never go out to a different building. There was, like, no reason. And then again, like, you know, like, not really any sidewalks. And 
Yeah. Kind of yeah. dangerous. Like <laughs> there was a grocery store close enough to our house that like I could have walked there, but it was like very dangerous. I would have got hit by a car. That's right. Like, right. Mm. Yeah. Cause, yeah. It is different out here with that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, we look forward to some more of your updates as they come, as they happen. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Um, what about you, Amanda? I was in Ohio until yesterday. Nice. So I do feel like a bit of whiplash. <laughs> we um, both there and back, we took like 8.30 a.m. flights. Okay. Which, you know, like are great in a lot of ways because you're sort of like landed by like 10.30. You've got like the whole day. But it does also mean you have to like wake up at like 5.30 a.m. And, and it's just. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot. I'm not made for that. (laughs) (laughs) I understand. I am not a morning person either. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday was just like a wild um, travel day we were staying. So we um, we flew in and out of Cincinnati. And so we started the trip there um, with uh, Daniel's parents picked us up and we met up with um, met up with uh, his cousins and we went to this really cool um, museum center they have in Cincinnati that's new so it's like and it's in an old um train terminal okay so um which Very cool. I Daniel had cool. taken me to like years ago like on one of our first trips to Cincinnati it's like this beautiful like art deco huge huge train terminal that like wasn't really being used anymore there's like Amtrak still runs like a train a week out of there <laughs> but like oh, most wow. of this beautiful ornate building was just like not being used and i guess the city was really struggling to like figure out what to do with it and they finally turned it into like this complex of museums very cool so it's like one Ooh. wing is like a natural history museum and then like the other side there's like you know a history like Ohio history museum. And then like downstairs, there's like a science museum and there's like a children's museum. And like, they're all within this one building. They're just like different parts. Um, So it was really cool. It was really cool to like come back and like see how that plays. And it still like looks like a train terminal. Like they still like the sort of where you check in. Oh, that's cool. And like, yeah, they made like um, some of the other like ticketing windows into like um, cafes where you could like get food and like the dining hall is like still a dining hall. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it was, that was really fun. Uh, And then we went up. So we did that. Um, But again, like we landed and then like went and did that. Like little girl was like, has slept in the stroller for a while. She's like, what time is it? I don't even know where we are. Um, and then we went to Zanesville where Daniel's from, where his parents live. And we were there for a week. It was like 90 to 95 degrees every day, all oh week. Um, yeah, so there was like a lot, we had like big plans of like things we were going to do. We were going to go to like the Columbus zoo. We were going to like go places. And it was like, it's too hot to be outside for, yeah, you yeah. know, and it's like all the, like, um, School had already started there. So, like, we would go to a playground very early before it got too hot. And she, Eden would be, like, the only kid there. <laughs> so it was just, like, a very different um, a very different trip than what we had planned. But it was still right. really, really lovely. And it was certainly the longest um, I'd ever been there. So, like, that was cool. Like, I feel like I have a better appreciation for the place um, yeah, well, that's than cool. I did before. Um and then we came back to Cincinnati for the last two days and we stayed with um, one of Daniel's college friends, um, families, and they had like a big um, cookout on Labor Day with a oh, bunch nice. of their college friends. Um, so then it went from like, there was lots of kids and, um, <laughs> you know, Daniel's friend, they have two little girls that are a little older than Eden that like just doted on her and there was a cat and a dog and she was just like the happiest little girl that there ever was like that's awesome (laughs) yeah so it was good um and then we yeah we came back yesterday um landed got back here dropped our stuff and then there was like meet and greet at um Eden's new school that she's starting Uh at tomorrow so oh yeah they had a like, meet and greet yesterday where you could like go and like see the classroom and like drop off like 
all of the stuff that you were required to provide. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was like, we're like, okay, great, drop our stuff. We'll go get lunch. We'll go do that. And then it's like, oh, we got to go to the grocery store. And then we ended up at the playground because like little girl couldn't be at the grocery store. And I was like, take her, Aww. take her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like truly, like we were like, oh, we'll divide and conquer. Like Daniel mm -hmm. needed to go to like the other location of the school to pick up some things. And I was going to go to the grocery store with Eden. I don't know why we decided this was a good plan because she just like could not handle it. She's like running around the store. She's like in the stroller. She's or in the cart. She's out of the cart. She was like rolling on the floor with her shoes off at one point. <laughs> <laughs> you she have more probably, patience than me. She probably licked some raw me meat. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. I was like, come get this girl, get her out of here. Oh my God. Oh so, my yeah. God. So I I I took today off of work as well, just nice. to like reset yeah. our lives and like do laundry and yeah. Have one last That's day smart. Of summer before school starts tomorrow. So yeah. 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 So yeah, it was like sitting yeah. down here. I was like, oh, right. I haven't been in this seat for, I don't know how a many long days. Time. A lot of days, a lot of days. And it what a refreshing treat. Like I spend <laughs> so much of my life at this desk. Uh -huh. You know, I work from yeah. home. Like I'm just like, I'm here a lot. So it was really yeah. nice to like not be able to remember totally. the last time. I That's there. awesome. So yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, it was a real, a real break, a real reset. So, real like, vacation. Was, yeah. Yeah. So that was nice. Oh, I didn't right. even really check email that much. I was like planning on responding to things oh. and like looking at stuff. And I was just like, no, no, everyone seems to be managing fine without me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I had put, I put teams in my email on my phone uh, very uncharacteristically, like when I was teleworking, just because mm -hmm. I feel like that is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, but as soon as I got here, I was like, delete delete yeah. <laughs> now i get that yeah well i'm glad that you had a fun trip did you do anything else other than um your ohio trip and your meat looking excursion yeah <laughs> to, to be fair she didn't actually i don't think she looked i know, anything, I, know. I know she could I know, have. it was wild it was wild i um, understand i my frequently have issues like that yeah. usually it ends up with me crying <laughs> I think I was just like too tired. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh my God. Did we do anything else? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I know. It's hard to remember, right? Yeah. I had to like go through my phone pictures. And <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's right. We did this and we did that. And we had a hurricane and uh, that's right. Oh, I was still there for that. <laughs> oh yeah. What? What was the outcome was like, of the hurricane? Dude, did all the, obviously all the water went away and. Or the tropical oh, storm. Right. Uh, we know, had re you know, that's debris right. was hauled out and uh, that, okay, so I, yeah. yeah. No, go ahead, Shani. No, just saying like that if we're thinking of the same one, like we were still there and it was like shortly before we I left. Yeah. That's and, right. and I was like very shortly before I left. And I, I was just like, you know what? I will not miss this. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like storms are fine, but like this, like and every, it, it's like like knock on wood, like we never had a really intense one in the years that we were there. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. like, I know that it does happen, and like I'm, I'm okay without it. Because even just like worrying that it, like, oh, what if, what if things flood? What if this? What if that? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It was on our end. It was totally fine. Yeah, because yeah. I was watching the radar, and you guys seem to be in this like really cool little pocket that like seemed to be spared. I guess. I mean, we had a lot of rain, but it wasn't like it really wasn't bad. But I do remember like our insurance is more because Fayetteville is apparently like in some sort of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, it, it didn't hit us. Um, and I mean, and like, I, we, you know, we don't have a basement like. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it did hit us. Um, I had gotten sandbags like the day before I got like. Right. Because you still had the sandbags the last... when I stopped by your. Yeah, yes. Because we had this other crazy storm randomly the following night. And it, like just out of nowhere, we had thunder and lightning hit the exact same time. We had like no idea. And those sandbags like saved us. So it was like, maybe nice. I'll wait it out a little while. Anyway, so yeah. we did, Jay and I were awoken at about five o'clock in the morning on that mm. Thursday that it happened. And they had already canceled school. Um, but as it turned out, we wouldn't have gotten to school anyway. So there was no power. 
Mm-hmm. And we were woken by something hit the roof. Uh, 100% positive something hit the roof. It was a, right above our head in our bedroom. It was very obviously something hit the roof. Uh, so, you know, there's no power, blah, blah, blah. We're walking around. We go outside. We check. We don't see anything. But again, it's pitch black and it is pouring rain. At, like it is like the the apex of it all or whatever. Like it's it's, you know, like so we were like, well, whatever it is nothing's poking through the bedroom we'll see it in the morning um that's what she so said. yeah yeah right <laughs> <laughs> so poor jay like was too nervous to like go to sleep and then finally at like 6 30 i was like i was like what are you gonna do at this point like you're not gonna you're just gonna be awake when a tree hits us i mean i don't know <laughs> you can see it do you want to know you're about to die or you just want right. to get some sleep so, you know, what type of tree <laughs> takes it out yeah. takes your roof out? <laughs> I mean, I get it. You're worried about the kids, but also, like, mm. you're not sitting in the room with them either. Anyways, right. so, uh, so, you know, we get up and uh, we see that we have a break in the storm. And uh, I see a neighbor has posted on Facebook that she was trying to get to work. And there's a ginormous tree down. So uh, oh. on the the uh, road that we live on because my neighborhood is like a horseshoe and then you've got like little like you know courts that spout out like ours and um yeah so just past where the lake is where like the um the gate is that you can get into the lake like the house that was just past there it fell in between it just happened to scrape the persons uh, that it fell their house it scraped the side of their their garage oh, we oh they said that they lost count at like 120 rings or something so i'm talking like a huge tree um wow. it took out the power lines uh because we're not in the city of raleigh technically we like duke energy like duke has to come in and fix us but we're not always like first on the list mm-hmm. luckily somebody had gotten there by like nine o'clock in the morning it took all day long for them to cut through this tree and clear out just a hole so that we could all drive through wow. and then fix the power line. So it went, it was about three forty in the afternoon before the power came back and uh, the pow- the tree got taken care of at about three fifteen because <laughs> we couldn't flush the toilets. You know, huh. the children had to go, had to go number two. So Jay was like, I'll take him to Target to go poop there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also impressed that they were like, this sounds like such a major operation. Like I'm impressed they got the power like back on within uh, the day, you know? Oh, like, we thought it was going to be like a while. Uh, yeah. But I mean, that's, I guess they're at this point, those crews must be pretty adept at taking out trees. But yeah. I mean, they got there at like nine nine thirty. I don't think they started cutting it until like eleven thirty because they kept saying that they were waiting for paperwork and they the first crew that responded didn't have the proper tools to do something something so a new one had to come in but they were like still assessing everything so like yeah it was it was kind of crazy and we were we were trapped and it reminded me of when my crazy neighbor had always said if you know you're gonna get a, a bad storm make sure you park because we can cut right through. Uh. <laughs> we can cut right through to the neighborhood behind us. And she always, her and her husband, they'll leave one of their cars on the road on the other side. None of us thought to do that, including her this time around. (laughs) So yes, but like, thankfully though, by that evening, it was, it was all good, but yeah, no, that was crazy. And then the only other really thing um, that happened was we rearranged our entire downstairs. How fun. Yes. What'd you do? So on this past Friday, Jay came home from work early and we was like, yeah, it's going to, it's going to storm. So I figured I would just work from home the rest of the afternoon. I want to be there anyway. It was right before Labor Day. So like 90% of his office wasn't even there. So he was yeah. like, yeah. and thank God he did because like 45 minutes after he got home, when I say we had thunder and lightning storms all day from like two o'clock in the afternoon until like two o'clock in the morning, it was nonstop. We had flood advisories. The pond in the back overflowed. Like it was, it wasn't as hard or as windy as the hurricane, but like the thunder and lightning literally went on throughout wow. the night. It was oh my crazy. Um, 
yeah, and like roads around here were just totally flooded. So when we realized that we weren't going to be able to do anything, because I was like, well, I guess I'm not going for a walk or anything this <laughs> afternoon. And we're like, well, let's 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 see what we can do down here because it's time to remove the train table because the kids have outgrown it and now it's just like a catch all for toys. So let's let's go through things. Huh. So that's that's one of the only things that we do want to keep in case we have grandkids someday is that train table. So we disassembled it very carefully. Uh, the reason my room is not clean yet is because A, I've been too lazy to do it. And B, I need to now just take everything out. I need to clean out all of the under the bed because the train table is just going to slide it under the bed. Nice. Because um, mm -hmm. it shouldn't take up a lot of room disassembled. Anyway, so we took that out. We moved all the arcade games from the back area where they were. They are now where the... Um, shelving used to be next to the train table so when you first walk downstairs and you look to the left on that wall that you said all the podcast pictures mm -hmm. uh that's where the arcade games are now mm -hmm. um we put the two like expedite shelvings on the other wall when you walk in so that has all the toy stuff and things that they can play there the foosball table is in front of the bookshelf we moved the the, the three white bookshelves we moved that other standalone bookshelf to right out here we got a uh a big TV screen from Costco that was on sale. And we set up a whole little exercise area now. So oh, I nice. was able to exercise and I have more than just like the five feet little allocated space in between all the tables and everything. <laughs> so awesome. we got like everything all set up. So now we've got a very distinct area where I can work out and I can stream and I can watch and also nice. lift my laptop up and down, which again, nice. is a very first world problem, but it's kind of cool <laughs> to have this now. Very cool. Um, and we're working on clearing out all of the toys that we're going to donate or sell uh, are in a big pile outside the door. And I've got them in boxes. I just need to take pictures and list them. Um, and and then yeah, we'll clear out some space and voila, nice. new phase of downstairs, which I nice. understand most people listening to this probably have no idea what, what I'm talking about. But let me just say, I basically picked up most of my stuff and just mirrored it to create new spaces the end so anyway very different i like it yeah 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 it's like that's and, goals i feel like i have so much yeah. stuff in my apartment that i just want to rearrange and i just don't have like the time i know you need a thunderstorm yeah <laughs> we, we were like we were like oh i'm not going anywhere in this <laughs> this is flood we go out to get the kids and then we come back and then yeah. we're going to be stuck here so and then i didn't leave the house at all on saturday or sunday other other only to get the tv uh, on Saturday, that was it. So I like went to Costco, came back, and I was like very stir crazy by Monday. Yeah, right. I, like, I need to go do something, people. <laughs> I am a social person, and I haven't talked to anybody in weeks. Please. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that's that. Uh, anybody else have anything from their great weekend? Ex whatever you know what I mean. Your great grand vacation of August. Yeah. Nope. nope. Real no. good. All right. I'm just tired. <laughs> <sighs> well, Vacations aren't relaxing anymore. <laughs> no. But are they ever though? No, I suppose not. It's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. That's true. Sometimes. Um, okay. We can finally, if you want, pick up the rest of that uh, industry hacks stuff that we've been teasing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, all right, let's do it. Uh, so uh, this one is, if you buy flights through Spirit at the airport, one of the random fees, it's called the user fee or something like that, doesn't apply, so they cost about half as much. I've flown round trip to Chicago for $30, Houston for 45 and Miami for 50 et cetera, et cetera. So you just you have can't to taking a chance that there's still going to be a ticket? Well, I don't know if it's last minute or... If, oh, um, you just like, <laughs> like that didn't even occur to me that you could like, you just have to, yeah, to like when you used to buy tickets, yeah. like when you used to buy tickets for concerts at the, at the ticket booth, at the, <laughs> at the box office. No. <laughs> so that would work well for somebody like me who lives next to an airport. Yes, mm. that's true. Um, let's see. This person says, I used to work in the floral industry. Uh, don't call a large national florist. Look up a local florist in your recipient's area and call them directly. Most have websites to help you choose. And you'll save money on delivery and service fees, which can go towards a nicer arrangement. Also, uh, 
unless you order flowers regularly, the membership slash loyalty program is a scam and hard to cancel. Yeah. 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 I, good to know. I knew that about the local florists because they, they also last longer. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just like better all around and you're supporting local. Just, yeah. And they're just prettier arrangements. I feel like whenever you go to those like, yeah. You know, box, like yeah. the box store of online flower shopping. They're just like always so like <laughs> yeah. the are stupid and like cookie cutter and <laughs> just dumb. Yeah. It's like I Agreed. could do a better job. Uh the next one is you can rent a nice casket for the funeral and be buried in a cheaper one. I have heard of that. I have not heard of that. <laughs> I don't know why. That's like rent is that like rent the runway, but for <laughs> I think, okay. yeah. I mean, essentially. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you know, like if you're gonna be cremated, like it's the same concept, you know. Like that's true. That's, that's absolutely true. true actually, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. You don't need it for the full time, you know. You just no. like, yeah. Uh, like leasing. Very a interesting. Huh. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah. So this reminds me. Because Alex this morning was asking me, why do people want to get buried instead of just being burned? Wouldn't that save more space in nature? I, like, <laughs> I like the way his brain works. I, I, I mean, I like, yes. Alex, <laughs> you are six. The things that you think of are insane. <laughs> but we actually, last weekend, had an incredibly scary moment. And I have it on video, too. Alex was sitting on the back of the couch, fell backwards, sit square the back of his head right <gasps> here. Watch it. I don't know how he is not dead or paralyzed. I don't, I don't know how. I don't mm. know how. Like I let him sleep with me for like two nights after that. I cried for like three days straight. Cause like I I it is by the grace of a miracle that like we wouldn't let him do anything for like the next week in case he had a concussion, even though he didn't have any of the symptoms. Um and, I mean it is by the grace of something picked him up and cushioned his fall because if you look how he fell i don't understand i don't understand it and i am mwah. it's crazy that was like the mm. big thing that happened more than mm. rearranging the thing because that was like shook anyway no. um back to no. the mm. <laughs> that is okay. uh, yeah i went on a real tangent there he's yeah he seems okay and then um on friday he ran head first into the wall at parks and rec so we, you know, we made it uh, six days without injuring the front of his head. Oh my god! Yeah. Sounds like a six-year-old boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so a then walking he, helmet. He, uh, yeah. So then he tripped. He tripped on like Monday because he went hiking, and he was like, "Look, Daddy! Look, Mommy! I put my hands like out like you taught me to." And I was <laughs> nice like, job, we buddy. Philo uh, philosophize, ph philosophize on. Whether where we should ha what should happen to our bodies after we die, but the concept of breaking our fall is very age appropriate. Generally walking around. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, oh, if you or a if you or a teenager you know are admitted to an expensive college and their financial aid package isn't enough, write them and ask for more money. Mention yes. the other schools that you were admitted to and the fact that you received strong financial packages from them. Do not mention specific numbers unless it's a named scholarship like pre uh, presidential or proverse. Uh, at least five of my students this year have got between 10000 and 20000 extra in scholarship money just by soliciting for it. Wow. I, I, uh, thanks to my mother, I every, every year in undergrad, I wrote to ask for more. And every year they gave me some more. Wow. Not as much as I wanted, but some. But something. You know, That's yeah. amazing. And I didn't have any other scholarships or financial aid packages to, uh, you know, put in front of their face. But I just said, like, I can't afford it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Good so excited to I come work. to your college. Yeah. But I'm poor. Give me money. And they and did. They did. A mm -hmm. little bit. That's really cool, though. That is cool. Yeah. That's, that is a good life hack. Yes. Um. Also, college shouldn't cost as much. But no, it shouldn't. It should not. <laughs> Um, I used to work in credit cards. If you dispute a charge for less than $75, not as fraud, we would just credit you the money. Most of the time, we wouldn't investigate it past the initial charge back. You still got your money back if we didn't win the case. Uh, however, if we find out you figured this out, we'll stop giving yeah. you credit unless we win. We've even closed accounts that took advantage of it. But if you want your money back as a one-time thing or whatever, you'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah. We recently had to 
another Alex story. Alex bought some stupid app in San Diego that oh, no. uh, I guess it was a trial and it renewed for $75 for the year. And I was like, Yeesh. I was looking at her statement and I was like, Jay, what the, what the fuck is this? Like, what, what is this? I was it, it, Apple $75. Like what, what, what did we buy? And he went and he looked and he was like, holy shit, that app that Alex was playing around with, he must have bought it. So they gave us our money back though. So it's like in a test, even though it was after the like, you know, trial period or whatever. Yeah. And we deleted the app off the phone. So yeah, I've done, I mean, honestly, like I've done that before, not with the credit card, but with the actual like thing, like once I got, yeah. maybe even twice, I got LinkedIn. Um, I hate LinkedIn in general, but like a couple of times I've just like, caved and got their like premium thing to be like oh maybe oh, yeah. it is useful mm -hmm. or, oh maybe i can actually really see the people that looked at my profile you can never do half this shit that they say you can do and it's just not linkedin sucks and it's actually not mm -hmm. useful in my opinion if people have gotten jobs through linkedin please let me know because uh, anyway um and then it like <laughs> after the trial period like you know renewed and i either had forgotten or they didn't send me an email or whatever Jay. and Jay has, yeah. but we all knew that. Yeah. He also has. Well, I feel like he's more in an industry yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. in an industry that like, looks for that. Yes. Yes. So there are those exceptions, but it's like it's not me. But um, then I got in touch with LinkedIn, which is they make incredibly difficult to do. Uh, but they did refund my money. So. Oh, that's good. Fuck you, LinkedIn. Good. But also thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How much is the. Uh... Like, There's like different it? plans. I think it was like okay. 45 or okay, cool. For the year. Between between 45 and 90, I don't remember. But mm, I was like, I'm not gotcha. paying a single fucking cent for this bullshit. Basically, I clicked on it because it said that, you know, like six people had viewed my profile and if I wanted to see oh, it, you, you know, oh, and then yeah, you yeah, do yeah. and you're like, oh, they looked at you in private mode. We can't. And I'm like, well, fuck you. Like that's <laughs> right. Literally the yeah. one thing that I wanted to know, but whatever. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, moving on. Uh, not sure if your homeowner's insurance will cover something. Apply this one simple rule. Was the damage caused by a sudden and one-time occurrence? If the answer is yes, you're covered 99% of the time. If the answer is no, 99% of the time you're not covered. This uh, advice applies to people in the U.S. Of course it applies to people in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's a racket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, if you know you're shipping something within a few hours drive of you, always pay for a cheaper shipping option. The premium shipping option is just a markup. If you know you're sending something nearby, it will regard the same. It will arrive the same day regardless. Which I knew that. Um, yeah. And then let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When a car salesperson offers you a premium car care package, don't buy it. It's a scam. Say so you're buying a new car and I offer you the premium car care package. It'll only cost you X amount of money per month. But every time you come to the dealership, you'll get the following premium car wash. We hose it down, not a proper car wash. Inter interior detailing and rejuvenation. We use compressed air to make the dust go away. Sometimes a man uses a wet paper towel. And a functions check and clock synchronization. We check if all the lights work, heater and AC work, and if the clock, and set up the clock if it's wrong. Also, summer and winter inspections and free uh, wiper fluid refills are only done once per season. We check tire th uh, tire tread, usually check tire pressure, look at uh, temperature gauges to ensure the car isn't overheating, add water in the summer or a tiny amount of uh, wiper fluid in the winter, blah, blah, blah. See, basically, uh, we charge you for simple things that you can't do yourself. Also, if a car dealership sells you a used car and tells you it has been fully serviced, take it to your local mechanic and have it serviced properly. Hmm. So that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I knew this one actually. Any Marriott booking made with, uh, partially with points with with a three day cancellation policy can be canceled the same day of the booking without any fees. And I knew that from something that I experienced. The other um, uh, trick is if there's a cancellation policy and you're uh, like flying in the, let's say your cancellation policy is like 72 hours in advance, but like 24 hours in advance or 48 hours in advance, you know that you aren't going to make the reservation. You mm. can adjust it online for a week out and yeah. then cancel it. I was going to say like, that's also um, a good hack for uh, doctor's appointments. Yeah. I've you done that. Realize too. You can, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Because they will malicious. charge you and then send you to collections. So fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them. Um, and probably be three hours late to your appointment anyway. <laughs> Tell you to get there 15 minutes early and then, yeah. Hey, I uh, finished uh, the other two parts of my root canal since then. They did oh, a great hey, job. Oh. Good. Oh, they good. Did a really good job. I chew normally, like it's like there's Excellent. nothing there. Excellent. Which is well, awesome to me. That's good. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so now well Jay done. is going. Ends well. Yes. Yeah. And Jay's going to go see them tomorrow. Um, all right. Let's stop there because there's still a gazillion more and we can always come back to this. Uh, I like this thread. It's fun. Yes. Indeed. The mm -hmm. end. <laughs> Um, okay, let's take a quick commercial break here. And just a heads up, there's something going on with Spreaker, and I cannot find, I don't have an email about it. There's nothing within the terms of service that changed, but it is making me, so instead of in the past, it would be, you need to have six ads placed in. So you could do some in the front, some in the middle, and some at the end. Well, those six ads are now six ad breaks. So technically, yeah. we would need to have ad breaks every like 10 minutes. As we're it's talking, too many. That's too wow. many. Which, it's That's too more much. Than, like, I don't know. Cable. Yeah. <laughs> I, yes. I don't know exactly what. I I don't want to email the lady and rock the boat, but I also need to figure it out. So I got to get on that. But if there are more that randomly pop up, and I know you've started to hear them in the Married Man show. I'm sorry, in the Ramblecast After Dark, <laughs> because they usually need like 13 ads, and now it's just like. <laughs> peppered in so because they go for so long and it's literally like every 10 to 12 minutes so i am really sorry i don't know please bear with us for right now and that's that okay uh we come back feedback and uh get out of here all right we are back we're ready to get into some feedback the first bit of feedback is from our facebook is from facebook and it's from mandy who said survivor cast dropped today Yes, yes it did. <laughs> I checked it out. Thank you, Mandy. I was not like tracking exactly, but that was the first thing that I did when I saw that was go and check it out. Very excited. Hooray. Yeah. For two people in particular, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amanda, we'll have to send you the thingy, the his little uh John Lovett's one little uh, little like a minute and a half introduction cast video thing. Yes. Sure. I'm sure it's probably very like it's surreal. it is it's very it's very funny like even jay jay's the one that watched it first he was like oh my god did you see this <laughs> and i was like you're interested in something survivor again okay. <laughs> hey yeah um let's just say it's gonna be an interesting fall season of pods of america and love it or leave it because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah unless he gets unless he's off early actually he really can't still... say anything either yeah. way mm -hmm. yeah and it could still be, you know. Yeah. yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a good, be a good fall. fall. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Amanda, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's a 13-week commitment, and then it's all done forever for you. Well, uh, see, here's the thing, because we don't have Paramount. And we I'll don't send you my a, password. And we don't have a DVR. So it's like, if I can't watch it in real time, which it's like, it's what, it's at 8 o'clock? Yeah, it's very it's like, late on the east coast again. It's like six o'clock here, smack dab right. in the middle of dinner of dinner time. That would for you would be dinner time or like bedtime. So, I don't know. I, okay. I'm, I'm not I, saying I no, I just you... have some logistical challenges. Okay. Understood, understood. I usually like I was never watching it in real time either. Also, I don't know that I had the version of Paramount that you could watch in real time. I'm not sure. I need to check that out. I might need to change that, but in any case. Mm -hmm. I would usually watch it the next day um, okay. because, you know, it started at eight o'clock. Right. <laughs> and it was like one and a half to two hours long. Two hours long? I mean, the premiere. No, no, no. The premieres. It's 90 minutes now, but it's only one hour if you watch it through the app. <laughs> yeah. If you can get it ad free, it's like. Oh, because there's no ads. <laughs> yeah. It's snappy. Maybe I'll give you my. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, yes, I'm excited. Yay. Uh, Randy says, I reluctantly saw Twisters, not because I really wanted to see it, but because I was bored and wanted to get out of the heat in a cool, dark environment. While I would not say it was a great movie, it was much better and more entertaining than expected. Nice. The thing I kind of liked was that they did not go for the cliche ending. Hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's still in theaters, but uh, if you guys did want to watch 
Twister and Twisters still, like we talked about a month ago or last episode, uh, let me know. We can try to figure. <laughs> I am down. I know Tasia watched it as well, and she had very positive feedback that she'll have to write in for the episode when we discuss it. I like would it definitely is, be down. It's out in some theaters. It looks like all the Regals in my area still have it. It's still yeah. playing oh. here, so. Oh, let me see. I will check and see if it's playing near me. Yeah. I mean, it's playing today. I don't know for how much longer. Well, I just I clicked on, like, for the rest of the week, so. Uh, and I know Zach would be delighted to see it again, so. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> nice. Maybe I will do that this weekend. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll see if I can do that this weekend, too. Okay. All right, so tentatively, guys, maybe we might talk about Twister and Twisters next weekend, uh, next week. Um, oh, yay. Okay. I will try to, let me know, and then I will try to make it happen as well. Um, even though I, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yay! Fun <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Randy. Yes. Uh, Matt says, Amanda, you're going to have to make your uh uh, crazy ex-girlfriend watch quick since it's leaving Netflix on September 5th. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> them's that the breaks. Also, yeah, no. them's the breaks. I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere else at some point. Yeah. Matt yeah. says on Labor Day, I went to see Blink twice, Zoe Kravitz's uh, directorial debut, which uh, she also co-wrote. It's a really good twisted thriller about a waitress who was invited to a billionaire's private island. It is also the first time I've seen a trigger warning uh, before a movie, which was a good call. I have actually heard, uh, I've read a couple of reviews and then like people in the comments who were saying that they went in not really knowing much about it. And it's mm -hmm. definitely one of those movies really? that you should at least kind of yeah, brace yourself, brace yourself for. for. Wasn't this like? Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, what is this called? It, it wasn't the original name. Uh, something pussy. It was like Pussy Island. Blink twice. Original title. It was Pussy Island. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. That was yeah. It was really called yeah that that word. Uh, cool. Um. Mm. So according to Zoe Kravitz, it was 100% based on true events, though not a single specific story as one might accept. So I guess. Holy shit. Are you uh is it worse to have one super terrible thing or several smaller <laughs> terrible things? Right. <laughs> um I don't know. Well I that's say... I saw I remember seeing the um I saw the trailer somewhere and I was kind of like, eh, I'll pass. But actually knowing that it's Zoe Kravitz, like at least that makes me trust a little bit more. As I skim through the Wikipedia page, it does seem very rapey. And I could and, definitely uh, see that. Yeah. As yeah. and killer, killy, yeah. stabby. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of Murdery. hers and support her and all she does. I just yeah. I don't think it's a movie for me. Yeah, we'll go to a <laughs> Yeah. If anybody else has seen it, let us know what you thought too. Yes. Uh, yes okay. Please. Moving into the but it's classified documents in the bathroom. Ro said uh, this is a link to a Twitter feed um, that she had she had retweeted to me, and it was uh, ask everyone to list their top five junk draw items. Um, we all have at least one of those drawers, and Indeed. sometimes two. Mm -hmm. Sometimes too. So yes, what what is in your uh, junk drawer? What's that thing that's like? It's like a squiggly line, and it's hard to describe. But you know what I mean? It's like it's like like, like, like on a, a handle. Tie? Oh, on a handle. So there's like a handle, and Corkscrew? then no, the end is like this, and it's like a flat like like line like this at the end that. I don't know if you're like pressing that into something or I don't know what the fuck it does, but I, that's like the first a potato thing masher. I don't think that's its intended purpose. I don't even know how to Google this. I'll take a picture next time I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <With> that thing. <laughs> but people in the comments are mentioning scissors, rubber band, battery, um, a key. You have no earthly idea what it opens yet. Have an irrational fear of throwing away. I've had that before. Hmm. Multiple pens that won't write. That was one of the things when I cleared out my junk drawer earlier this summer, I tested out like every pen in there. Yeah. Sort of God. 
and threw out a whole bunch. If nice. a pen fails me once, it's out of here. Nice. Ooh. No second no, chances. Yeah. No. Uh, ketchup and soy sauce packets. Definitely soy sauce packets. Yeah. Oh I would God. also go with the, the like, um, wood chopsticks. Oh, yes. yeah. And, yeah. Yep. Just like the extra Just ones. Like, yeah. like we have food. chopsticks. We have our yeah. own chopsticks. Yeah. 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 You say no, and they yeah. still send them. Yeah, oh, and there's only like, so well, many you can use for crafting. I, I have enough <laughs> for crafting yeah. purposes. I don't yeah. need any more. Yeah. I will say, speaking of keys, uh, we were going through some stuff when I was getting ready to leave. Uh, because, like, it was just, like, weird timing because I was, like, I had to take, like, important documents with me on my cross-country drive. But then I knew I was, like, flying to Montana the week after. And I, it was just, like, weird. Um, so, anyway, we're, like, kind of going through some stuff. And I was like looking at our, the keys, uh, like by our door. And there's this one that I was just like, no idea what this is, no idea what it's for. And I, and it looks like our house key. I was like, I, I wouldn't want Frank to get it mixed up. Yeah. I, I am just going to fucking throw this away. Next day, I'm texting my cousin, like, hey, so like <laughs> we're, we're, we were staying with her at first. And Frank was getting there first and he was getting there super late. And so I was asking her like logistics stuff and he was like, Oh, well, can you just like, you know, use his key, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like she, you know, was going to be in bed. Like, can he just like, let himself in? It's like, fuck. That's what that key was for. <laughs> That's what that key was for. <laughs> I forgot I had a key to her house. God damn it. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, at least the mystery was solved. Yeah. Well, it was frustrating, but so those, that irrational fear isn't always irrational. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I got, I had this key for a reason. Yeah. Um, we had found when clearing out stuff, um, probably sometime during COVID the, uh, the key to the pool from our townhouse. Oh my gosh. Huh. <laughs> or it might've been even the key to the apartment pool. Like it was an old ass key. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully they just like rekeyed everything when they, I, I would imagine, <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. Um, and luckily, you guys are not like, you know, psychopaths. Yeah. So, but yeah. Some of the other things uh, in here mentioned in this thread that I can also relate to is uh, a bag of Allen wrenches from years of Ikea furniture that I might need at some <laughs> point in the future. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it is funny because we have also like a collection of Allen wrenches and they're all the exact fucking same. So yeah. why we can't just how many keep do you two need? Yeah. and yeah, because yeah. we'll get another one at some point yeah. when we get more furniture. And just like make a good will run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, rubber band's so old that you try to use one and immediately breaks. <laughs> yes. 100% yeah. yes. at that. Oh my yeah. God. No. A, a whole drawer. Yeah. <laughs> so many. Oh my God. Shandy, somebody in here says a potato masher. <laughs> Is there a picture? <laughs> Actually, maybe I'm just going to Google this to see what Google brings up. Uh, I think then, that uh, yeah. I I think it is yeah. a potato masher. I think that that is what you might yeah. have. Oh my god! I've never once have I used that to mash a potato. <laughs> KitchenAid, think... gourmet what? stainless steel wire masher. Ha have you used it for anything? No. Yeah. Why do we have it? I don't know. Mm. Before you move, you should um, offer up like if the local buy uh, buy nothing group. And people in your neighborhood will just take your free shit. I do it all the time. I You'd love be a surprise. Nothing. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, real quick, real quick. Um, a Chinese takeout menu. Uh, yes. A glue, a hammer, yeah. Sharpie. I dried out Sharpie. Yes. Uh, and like the menu is online. Yeah. I know that's nice the other about thing. Having the printed yeah. one. I'm like, I, well, that's what I think novel. when I'm at the restaurant. It's and novel and nostalgic. And then, yeah. I know. But take it home I, and then there's just like more junk. Yeah. I recently yeah. threw out some old menus too while going through those drawers. And I was like, I look at these menus online. I don't yeah. need to. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, a random roll of uh, duct tape that makes a drawer hard to close. Yes. There's always something in there that makes the door, drawer hard exactly. to close. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for all of this, Ro. This is really, really fun. Yes. No, that's great, really Ro. In fact, the potato masher makes the drawer hard to close when it's, yeah. you know, like not just so. Yeah. That's why I keep mine well, maybe... in like a vase with like other tall. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Tall kitchen Got things. That. See, that's like that, that thing of mine is full to the brim. Oh. Ah. probably half of the things I could also get rid of. 
It's always good to pare that stuff down. Just, you know, yeah. Thin yeah. the herd. Yep. Um, do okay, you and use this- your potato masher? I do. Okay. My kid won't eat apples. She'll only eat applesauce. So we make it ourselves and we. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. fun. Yes. We, okay. we do use ours quite a bit. I'm trying to think. Because like Frank has made applesauce before, but I don't think he used that. I don't know. I don't know what his technique was, but. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm glad you use yours. I do. Um, okay. Uh, finally, we have an episode. We have an episode. We have an email from Andy. <laughs> All right. Andy writes in this A in Jason's D of Andy's virginity. <laughs> now we're in the S, but to be fair. Andy writes in, hey, Rods. Well, it's been a month and unfortunately still no news from me. I've been talking about this a lot with my therapist, how I get stuck in these ruts. And even when I'm not happy, I can't seem to work up the nerve to take a risk because I'm afraid it's going to blow up in my face. I know I should have left my job years ago, long before any of those nightmare coworkers came along, but I haven't. It's been years and I'm still hung up on the last time I switched jobs after being at a place for a long time. It also ties into my problems with women. I get so apprehensive to make any kind of move and just assume it's a no and wind up going nowhere while time marches on. My therapist and I have made the connection that these feelings come from seeing some family members endure major losses and never fully bouncing back from them. It's more the job end, but I see it also affecting my lack of a love life in my adulthood. Well, going to therapy is good, so hopefully I can work some more on this problem. Hashtag I'm with hers, Andy. Andy, that's great. I didn't realize that you were doing therapy, and I think that's wonderful. I think so, too. Like, too. that's really, really cool. Like, yeah. not cool, but, like, really great. Like, yeah. See, you're doing something. You're doing yeah, work. you are, actually. Yeah, that's great. And I think it's interesting, the link uh, that you've made. Um And I don't really have any like sage advice, but it's like cool that you've identified that. So I'm sure your therapist will have much more insightful things to say than than I could. So (laughs) (laughs) So I'll leave it up to them, but that's good. Yeah. 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 Uh, Also, hi, Andy. It's been a month. Good to hear. It's been a month. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. All right. And then you want to finish up with a match that she said? All right. We have come full circle. Oh, oh gosh. Wait, wait, wait. My screen is frozen. Hold on. <laughs> okay. We're back. We're yeah. back. Okay. We're back. Okay. We're here again. Let go. The excitement is here. There's that article on NPR I read today about the polls that I sent you. <laughs> I love I love the like this one time at Van Camp. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. No notes on the delivery. So good. Thanks. it's these little things that end up being big things <laughs> they're into it they are ready to go she did do it in 2020 i don't know it's taking so long maybe we'll take pleasure at this keep it up keep it coming <laughs> <laughs> matt's gonna have a feel day with that <laughs> it's okay it's still happening 60 seconds go <laughs> you could always come with me. Imagine how much energy he's putting into that. I'm going to give you one more like last time. You make it your own. You do it how it works best for you. We're not at F level yet. <laughs> we're not We're not full sized yet, but we're not many. <laughs> if you do that, you can find it under us. What in the world were we talking about? For uh, the full size mini was when we were talking about the episode. Like we're a mini candy ah, bar. Uh, yes. Yeah, like that we're not a mini F candy level. bar. Yeah, not yeah full yeah. level. Okay. I, I don't know what F level was it. <laughs> but we're not. Oh, it must have been there. full level, or we're not like a full size yet. Yeah, we're not. I don't know. Whatever. Mm. We're funny. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. And and we're back. Happy fall. Almost fall, everyone. Hey, it's Good September. Yeah. Yeah. Sure so feels changes. a lot nicer. Oh, my God. We've had beautiful weather this week. Oh, so nice. Nice. 
So yeah. I've heard the moment that I, <laughs> the moment that I got west, I got out of the car one day and it was like 90 degrees, but it was, the, but there was no humidity. And I was like, oh, this is so pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. Not so bad. And it's then so like bad. on vacation at one point we were in Montana and it was like hot out, but we were, we we're like walking uphill and, uh, and we're talking about her like, I mean, it's hot out, but like in North Carolina, we would be drenched. Like, <laughs> We're okay. Yeah. You can go into the shade and it's and it's like cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Imagine that. <laughs> Well, on that note, everybody, thank you all for listening. Uh, we'll see you next week. Go see Twisters uh, and Twister rewatch it um, if you can. Um, uh, if you have any feedback, the broadcaster is through gmail.com or give us a call 331 276 2373. I'm trying to think. Oh, thank you to the patrons, especially the ones that contribute to a certain level. And that'd be Eckhart Rickner, Maggie the Magnificent, Magnificent, Joanne with the Plan, and Ed the Creepy Poopy Head Mailman. Thank you guys so much. If you'd like to become a patron, patreon.com slash Jay and Jack. If you've hear, heard like 14 different ads at this point i am really sorry i'm going to try to figure that out hopefully there's a solution um all right on that note though i uh, will talk to you soon my name is colleen my name is amanda and i'm shandy peace out everybody bye bye